Good morning you guys it's Karen and I have got an ingredient spotlight for you today on lactic acid so it's not a new ingredient it's um, one I've been meaning to do for a while and it's a, it's a product that I love it's an ingredient that I love I use the ordinary lactic acid 10% plus hyaluronic acid so let me tell you about lactic acid and at the end I will tell you of some other um, brands that do a lactic acid I've got my notes here but I ripped it out I've been kind of um, trying to reduce notebooks I've got about six or seven notebooks that I use for different things for YouTube and business ideas and dog training ideas and I'm trying to sort of consolidate them so that's why I've got this random page here so what is lactic acid well it comes from sour milk so it can be created from sour milk or it can be created synthetically so made in a lab by fermenting sugar um, so that's what lactic acid is and how it's made um, that doesn't explain why I think it smells like celery the one from the ordinary I don't know whether it still does let me see it's not got much left in this no that one doesn't smell like celery to me but I do find that when I first use it it smells like celery um, it is an exfoliant but it's also a humectant so it will exfoliate the skin it will take off any kind of dull skin and brighten your skin and it's also a humectant meaning that it draws moisture to the skin so it's a great ingredient for dry skin the claims for lactic acid are that it's a skin brightener that it works on fine lines that it works on pigmentation and that it works on I've put KP on my notes and I'm trying to think what is the word for it is it keratosis pilaris keratin pilaris I think it's keratosis pilaris I could be completely wrong in what I'm saying here but you know those little white lumps I think that's what it is the little white bumps you get on your skin that's what I'm talking about it's supposed to be good for that as well as always I have a look at the studies and whenever I've done an ingredient spotlight I've been looking into an acid an exfoliating acid there's there's so many studies out there but a lot of them are combination studies so it's mandelic acid plus salicylic acid and it doesn't split them into two um, but I did find some good research on lactic acid um, so the first study I looked at showed that 8% lactic acid was better than 8% glycolic acid in aging they compared the two and found that lactic acid was better for aging skin so for the fine lines etc and so it has been proven to work in that area it's not a drastic difference but it does it does work and I was surprised to see that it was better than glycolic acid I'll link these studies for you study two that I found was for melasma and kind of hyperpigmentation the evidence for lactic acid in hyperpigmentation seems to be very very mild if you're using it as a daily you know like an eight percent this is a ten percent um, but there is evidence to show that a lactic acid peel works very well in melasma the evidence is really good for that so if you do have any kind of hyperpigmentation um, uneven skin tone perhaps consider a peel um, and see if you can get a lactic acid peel I've never had a face peel um, something I've never even thought of I suppose what would the issues that it would resolve for me I don't have I do have pigmentation because I've got freckles but it's not what I'm trying to get rid of <laughs> um, and the final study was just showing it tested it out for for skin lightening actually and showed that it wasn't good for for home skin lightening for home evening out the skin tone um, just using it daily at home wasn't good that didn't do anything so out of those claims there's nothing really to show that it's a bright a skin brightener but it would make sense that it would brighten the skin because you would exfoliate any kind of dead skin there is evidence for fine lines there is evidence for pigmentation but more at the kind of peel level um, and for the kerat keratin whatever that KP thing is the little white bumps I didn't find anything in the evidence but I know that a lot of people have used it with success for that um, side effects are as with all acids sensitivity to the sun so you need to make sure you wear a good SPF but hopefully we're all doing that anyway and the only other side effect would be you could be sensitive if you've got really really sensitive skin that doesn't you know work well with acids then it's something to I would say start on the five percent the ordinary do a five percent and a ten percent start on the five percent use once a week see if you know how your skin reacts to it and if you do react to lactic acid mandelic acid is a much gentler alternative but not quite as effective as this um so as you can see hopefully it's a really good ingredient it's something I would recommend for those any of those issues any of those skin concerns and it's something I've had in my routine for quite some time but I've not 
I don't use it very often. Um, I use it probably twice a week, but when I do, I feel like my skin feels smoother. And what I particularly notice is if I've got any dry flaky skin, um, so when I was using tretinoin, that was a, an issue, you know, lots of flaking skin around here and around my nose. I would use this and the following day, the flaky skin was gone. And it didn't matter how much I actually, you know, physically exfoliated, this would always do a better job. And it's never dried out my skin. It, this has never irritated my skin. Um, I absolutely love this. So clearly there's the one from The Ordinary, but the other products that have lactic acid in it, the Inky List do a lactic acid, which I haven't tried, but I imagine that that's really good as well. Revolution do one. Um, I'll try and link the video for you. Not try, I will link it. The Revolution skincare video I did which I didn't recommend most of the products, but I think the lactic acid was fine. I don't think it had any fragrance or anything else in it. So Revolution, you could pick that up in Superdrug, hopefully. I imagine the Garden of Wisdom do one, but I haven't tried it. Um, and the final one to mention is the Ameliorate do a body lotion, they do a foot lotion, and they are products that are aimed towards those sort of white bumps. I think you get them kind of around your arms in this area. Um, and it has lactic acid in it. Um, so I'll try and link some of those for you. I was thinking about trying the foot the foot lotion, but I ended up buying um, another one of those foot exfoliating socks because they will have lactic acid in them as well. You know, when you put the, the sock on, leave it for an hour and then your skin starts grossly peeling, that's lactic acid. Um, so yeah, it's quite a few uses, <laughs> quite a few uses, not just on the face, but a great ingredient. That's everything for today. Hope you enjoyed that little ingredient spotlight. Do remember you can let me know any ingredients you want me to talk about. I have still got a list, um, but I, I will tend to prioritize something if it is new and or really interesting to me. So like Bacuccio got bumped to the top of the list, whereas I already had the notes for this one. Um, so leave me any comments about what you would like me to talk about and I will speak to you again. Good soon. morning, you guys, it's Karen and I have got flat hair. I need to zhuzh it. The claims for it, the claims for lactic acid, 